Hello, my journaling friend. This is Mia Vibes. Welcome back to another video. Today, I have a very exciting video for you, and it's going to be about our summer journaling challenge. Yesterday, I was just writing down some ideas for my summer like journaling. So I was writing down these prompts that I wanted to like try to do during the summer because recently I fell in love all over again with my junk journals. So I don't know what it is, but this time it just feels a little different, and I just love junk journaling so much, especially in my traveler's notebook insert. So. I just wanted to create a set of prompts so that I can do things that I don't do usually or like even try something new. So I was writing this down and I took a quick picture and put it on my Instagram stories and it looked like some of you guys were interested in doing this with me. So I decided to um, create a full like a spread with the prompts so that you can have it and you can, you know. Do it if you want. So that's all this video is going to be about. For this spread that I'm creating, I just decided to show you guys something new in case somebody out there is interesting. I mean, interested. So um, this is, as you guys know already, this is the Arteza's um, scrapbook. It's a black paper scrapbook, and I've been just loving it so much. And they saw that I was enjoying it so much. So they were offering um, to send me a set of liquid chalk markers. It's 16 colors and the name of the set is Earth Tones. And I just received it yesterday and I tried it out and I activated all the like individual markers. You have to open it, you have to shake it, I mean shake it and then open it. And you have to pump the nib so the ink or the paint can come out to the nip. So I did all that and I tried those on my paper and it's just amazing because to be honest, you guys, I wouldn't say this works the best. I mean, these markers work the best for the paper. I wouldn't say that, but just the fact that I was using markers, something new and just different kind of supplies, it just made me really happy and I really like the creamy colors and um like how well it writes as well even though it doesn't show a hundred percent on the on this black paper because it's not supposed to be for paper next time i go to daiso you guys i'll buy the chalk uh, the liquid chalk marker blackboard i already told myself i'm gonna do it definitely um so that i can use this every day but today I really had fun using these markers and I think that I'm gonna continue to use this because it's not perfectly like, how should I say it? Like a clear, like you were gonna use it on the, like uh, the blackboard for the liquid chalk markers. But this is just fun and I tried something new and it was amazing. So um, that's just some little experience that I wanted to share with you guys. It's summer and I also have a prom that's called something new. So I decided to do something new and I'm happy. And now we're moving on to the actual prompt stories. Like what's going on with the prompts. Guys, for this challenge, we have 31 prompts. And this is not for a specific month. I am expecting that everyone can or myself we can use it until whenever the summer is over maybe until i come out with full journaling challenge prompts we never know but um here is summer until thanksgiving even until christmas so we'll see how long i can use this but um basically these prompts are all about summer fun i want you to be able to document your summer fun and summer memories using these prompts some of the prompts include um, specific topic such as summer goals um, favorite summer colors things to love about summer or favorite summer memories or like best things i did this summer so there are some for the topics and some for actually like supplies that you have to, like i recommend using 
it was for myself but it's not for everybody so for example I have watercolors and also I have photographs or summer washi party or happy meals so of course you guys can write about these things but also you can definitely use those to decorate your spreads that's just it's just all up to you guys so from number one to 31 in the beginning I kind of have the prompts for um, like the summer overview or preview so number one is summer goals so basically I am trying to kind of see that if I can or if you can um, plan out your summers like things that you want to achieve in the summer it could be just um, anything like a fun related only to it doesn't have to be anything like epic or anything but you can just write about anything so in the beginning of the like the first half or first one third is about really um, like things that makes you things that make you excited about summer so summer fun summer color summer playlist all the stuff like that towards the end of the list um, the prompts are like summary of summer 2019 travel log things that I bought this summer and even best things I did this summer so towards the end there there are prompts that's kind of like helping us um, wrapping up the summer so you can really document your memories and stuff like that instead of like thinking about or getting excited for the summer to come right so that's how the list is flowing but that doesn't mean that you have to follow all these orders you can just pick whatever you want at whatever time whatever day you want so don't worry about following the list or don't worry about doing every single one of them either of course you can do it um, and also sometimes I do the same prompts like over and over when I do journey challenges so you can absolutely do that as well I thought that I should mention something like this because there are always people who ask me questions like this like do I have to do it what if I don't do it every day and also a lot of you guys ask me like does this mean this are you so am I supposed to do this there's no specific rule for that guys just interpret anything any prompt into whatever you want of course you want to um be doing the like exact thing but my advice will be just write about or journal about something that you just thought about right away when you saw say soul food or best party ever so if you're really like confused about what each prompt means just follow your feelings just follow your imagination then you're gonna be all right so the last thing i want to mention to you guys is that if you are sharing this especially on instagram please hashtag summer journaling challenge if this goes well maybe next year we can have summer journaling challenge challenge 2020 but we'll see guys but i just hope that you guys have fun and i hope that this list will give you some ideas on what you can journal about i understand a lot of people um enjoy following a certain journaling challenge or the prompts because sometimes we get stuck um and we don't know what exactly to journal about so i hope that this will be able to help you to be a little more creative this summer and try something new i hope you enjoyed this video i will post a separate like a list on my instagram and facebook and all that as well if you want to check that out i will be looking forward to seeing your spreads you guys please tag me at mia vibes and i will talk to you later have a good day bye